You don't have to pay an entry fee. <laughs> Did you hear me? You don't have to pay an entry fee. No better way to start out your Friday than <laughs> TGI Friday. Here with the clan? Here with the clan. Here with the, the clan. No. Should I say gang or a group or? Uh, group is probably better than clan. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit Getting squat. All right. PC. <laughs> Sunny, warm Florida. I love you always. Good morning, cat. Oh, I stopped you. <laughs> Could have had the perfect kill shot. But this is Florida. And you're not a bobcat. Well, as you can guess, we are in the morning time here in Florida. Lost an hour, so I'm a little sleepy. But I feel like this is the start of the video. Uh, welcome back to the channel, everybody. The reason we are down here in Florida, we are going to be visiting the uh, the Bass Pro Tour, uh, the the MLF event where uh, they're taking, I think it's 80 of the world's best anglers. And they're doing a new format. I think it's really cool. Uh, I did a video on it over the summer, but uh, I think this is where the future of tournament bass fishing needs to go. Is heading, uh, and I I'm glad to uh, to talk about it and and see what it's about. Uh, before I can really go into it, I need to check it out myself. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be checking that out. And matter of fact, the lake that they are fishing at, the Toho Chain. That is where I had my very first professional bass fishing tournament. I'm debating whether I should show you guys my first video on YouTube because that is where it was conspired. It was down there. I filmed it on an old JVC. It's not even 16 by 9 format. You know what? Let's just do it. We got to watch that together. Uh, can't even show the first 45 seconds because it's just alternative rock music from the 90s we'll just skip through that PAA tournament that's professional language association tournament uh, it's the first one of the series and we're here on Toho wow I am frosty on that camera there's a few things that I've been doing uh, to help catch some of these stubborn bass and I'm going to show them to you um, one I'm thing, show them to you. the bass are in pre-spawn down here uh, they get on this this, plant this is almost the exact like same a, date uh, a that they're fishing. Just flipping it into the spatter. Oh, yeah, dock. I'm flipping it right and, uh, at the camera, y'all. Oh, they hit my it on gosh. the fall every time. This is um, so cringy. And that's pretty much been the deal. Just flip, flip, flip. Just flip, flip, flip. Flip, flip, flip. Uh, I want you guys to let me know in the comments how much has changed right now. Or do you think I'm just the same? The big thing is a gold rattle trap. Down gold here. rattle uh, trap. Gold and it is. You'll find if you watch. Uh, Texas. The Bass Pro Tour right now, a lot of them are catching on gold traps. Is the deal. Um, but you can't just reel it in. These bass are so stubborn right now. You have to rip it the whole time, uh, even if you're not. That's a good tip. I, I still found that's true. That is true. Just about every lake I fish. Um, God, what am I wearing? Like Jinko jeans right here? What is going on? That's been the deal down here. It's tough. I'm ready to leave Florida and get back to Texas, but that has been the deal. And that's the end. I'm ready to leave Florida and get back to Texas. Uh, if I remember correctly, I actually made the cut on that tournament and, and did okay. But uh, all I did was throw a, a gold lipless crankbait, it seemed like, uh, on braid and a uh, flipping stick where I could just rip it out of the grass, thick, thick grass, and it was all reaction bites, like I said. But yeah, I want to hear from you guys. Uh, what do you think about that? I mean, that was from 2008, my first video upload ever. It's pretty embarrassing. I'll leave a link down below if you really want to indulge yourself. But uh, anyway, let me know how much has changed or if I'm still that same guy wearing those big jeans and a lot of ums, ands, and butts. And... 
not much excitement. I'm very tempted, ladies and gentlemen, to give her a dangle in this hotel little waterway. There has to be bass in here. I mean, there's gators and snakes. I might have to acquire a rod and some lures, probably some Guggen baits. There's water everywhere. I, I love Florida. It's my, it's my second favorite fishing state. You can't go anywhere and there's not fish in some little ditch. You got ditches and oceans. That sounds like a the U2 song. Ditches and oceans, give it a dangle. It's all the same. Water is water. Oh man, that was mythical. Do I have my truck wrap? No. no. When I came here in 2008, my boat was wrapped. What was it wrapped in? Oh, it was wrapped in, you know, Texas A&M, largemouth bass flavor. Probably still have a picture of that. Could throw that up there. We got Wheeler and Lunkers and uh, Randy Mitchell. Look at those rocket cannons on top, man. Ready to take on ISIS with that thing. Wheeler, what is this What is this nonsense here? I mean, you still got your your little danglers inside of there. What's that called, Matt? What do you call that? They weeding? Didn't, they didn't finish weeding the vinyl. Weeding? Yeah. Well, it looks like I think we should probably dig it out right now. Yeah, we should probably help him out a yeah, little bit. Yeah, come on, Wheeler. I mean, you're I on the tur, man. You gotta... I don't think it cut it. You gotta get with the deal here. Well, it's on there pretty good. I think, I think I might be taking off a little extra. <laughs> You're supposed to get an X-Acto knife. Get in there. There it is. Look. Look at that. Make it pop. Boom. Goo. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Starting the day with an Uncle Herschel with some coffee. Me and Rob are splitting a pancake just because it's going to be a good day. Another backstory on Cracker Barrel. i let you guys know. This is kind of like a, a flashback to me in my tour days, but I used to always come to Cracker Barrels. Number one, because I would usually leave on Sundays and I would come back on Sundays. They're open and they have really good buttermilk fried chicken on Sundays. They also have boat parking, which not a lot of places have. Amazing. And um, I liked them so much, I even tried to get a sponsorship with them. Uh, somehow I got a contact and Anyway, I think I got some gift cards or something like that, but I went hard on Cracker Barrel. I mean, it's one of the best places in, in the country to go take your vessel, go out there, give it a dangle, park your boat there, get yourself some cornbread biscuits, some buttermilk, fried chicken, my gosh. Cracker Barrel, I'm still here. Holler at me. Love you guys. Another reason Cracker Barrel is amazing. Look at these novelty items you can get. A giant Rice Krispie. I think uh, OSG would be a, a fan of this. Ready to decorate and serve. Is there soy in this though? Oh, I'm sure it's loaded with soy. We could decorate it. Yep, contain soy. There we are, big sexy. I made a very crucial mistake and I forgot my sunglasses. I might just have to get a pair while I'm down here. Well, there's a big backstory to be told here. It's crazy pulling up here. Memories are coming back. Right over there is the lake. Uh, and we're gonna be hanging out here, right here at the favorite booth. I see Bryant over there somewhere. It's one of our, it's one of our camera guys. And we're just, we're gonna get settled in here, have some fun. Is Wes here too? Yeah, where's Wes? Oh shoot! Wes, you're freaking oh, homies. Homies, homies, getting that good stuff out there. Good, good to see you, man. Okay, we got, we gotta be quiet going in here because they're, they're making production right now, but we're getting behind the scenes. Behind the scenes here. One of the bubble boys, Jordan Lee, is making an appearance close to our top, top ten now for the elimination yeah. rounds. Bobby Lane yeah. found his way up to seven. Gagliardi's back to sixth. Mike and Nelly fifth. And Andy Montgomery, who made that big climb to get inside the elimination line. Uh, uh, I heard. Oh, I thought it was much bigger. I thought it was much bigger. That far away, yeah. you could hear the reaction. Yes. Gotta be quiet. Stuff going on on stage. Well, you were just a big behind the scenes. The KVD, uh, Gary Klein, and there was one other pro angler in there, and then we had the whole production team. Um, dude, I've never seen anything like that. It was crazy. That was the control room. That's where everything's going down. They're cutting shots. They're going here, here. They're directing. Like, I've always wanted to see that go down. So that was really neat. So, uh, I want to thank John here, the uh, coordinator, let us go inside of there and check it out. 
This is a really neat format, guys. I like this. Here we go. We're hooked up. I think uh, me and Rob are gonna have ourselves a little dangle competition here. We got some uh, some live wigglers. What do we got there? Are those uh, Florida grown or are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, straight out of Arkansas. The key to catching a big one. Yeah, you gotta get a big wiggler, man. Sorry, Peter. You gotta do it. Oh, we got. Oh, they're cleaning me. Hey, we're snatching them now, son. Hey. Well, I wasn't expecting to catch any fish in this video, but here you go, guys. A bluegill. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. That bobber's gonna go down. Got him. These things are voracious. My gosh. A little behind the scenes here. I'm about to do a Facebook live stream with the MLF. They're gonna come on board. We're gonna talk about Guggen Squad and stuff like that. So I uh, figured I'd probably just keep it rolling until they get here. Uh, we have. Justin oh, with hi. the Guggen Squad. How's it All going? Right. Good, good. I was just doing a little vlog action. Awesome. Well, that went well. That was fun. Wes, one of our camera guys, he just got back. Guys, it is crazy what's going on on the water right now. Uh, one of the guys that we hooked up with earlier last year and that we're, uh, we're hooking up with Guggen Baits, Dustin Connell, he's one of the younger tour pros. Uh, had a slow start, but he is crushing it right now. And he's actually, uh, well, he's an elite. So, uh, it's pretty amazing. I'm gonna walk down here to the water because I kind of want to, I kind of want to just relive some memories right now. You know what I'm saying? So right here at this marina, this is where all the pros are launching out of. This this lake is actually a, a connected lake. There's multiple lakes. There's Lake Toho. There's, uh, it's actually that's not even the full name. It's Toho Pika Gaia or something like that. Um, and then it goes. There's Kissimmee, there's uh, Cyprus, there's, I don't know all of them, but there's multiple lakes here, and you can lock through. You can take your boat, you can go into these things that are called locks. They raise the water up and down and take you into other parts of the lake. It's crazy. First time I did that, I was like, what the heck is going on? I'm on a water elevator, man. So I can't wait to find out how the guys are catching them out here. Honestly, these fish are moving up right now. Uh, Dustin Connell just caught a nine pounder later in the day. People are catching them later in the day. You know what that means? That means that the bass are waiting for it to get warm. They move up on the beds and then they start feeding up. They're getting ready to spawn. I'm talking about mega fatties with huge bellies. I'm just excited about it. On my first tournament here, I went out of this marina. My boat was going 78 miles an hour. I remember wondering, why is my boat going so fast? And it had something to do with the water being colder. Uh, the prop could turn and could grab more. And it was just hauling butt. I was, you know, flying next to all these pros and everything. And it was crazy. And uh, I, was, I was 22 years old at the time. And I, I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, I was just trying to, to learn everything I could and fish, you know, competitively at the same time. And it's tough. And I definitely have a lot of respect for all these, all these guys that are out fishing this, this grind. But I think the, especially the young guys that really put everything out there, uh, it takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot to put everything out on the line and continue to learn and compete against the best in the world. It's not like other sports where, you know, you're competing against mostly young bucks. I mean, you're, you've got people that have fished in the sport for decades and they are out there just with all that knowledge. So to compete against them and then do well uh, and, and put it all on the line, it really takes a lot. And I'm excited about this format also being where you don't have to pay an entry fee. <laughs> Did you hear me? You don't have to pay an entry fee. You just have to be good enough to make it and let the talent shine through. That's the way it should be. I mean, for God's sakes, uh, all these guys, these big pros, they should not be having to go pay entry fees. They shouldn't be having to pay entry fees to go fish in an event where a lot of the people want to come see them. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, how would you feel if you were Mark McGuire showing up to the batter's box and, and they were like, you know what? Mark, you got to pay your inch fee to play today before you go hit some some dingers. Sorry about it. I don't think so. That's not how it should be. And I want to see the, move, the the sport move forward with a a more stick and ball 
style format of other sports. And I think this is the way to do it. I've learned a lot today about how this thing goes down. I'm excited about it. I'll be filling you guys in more, uh, but basically this is where this is where it started for, for me as far as tournament fishing. Colby from Tallahassee it is. Yes, sir. All right, going back to give it a dangle. He got a little bit more than what he was expecting, I think, but uh, I think he'll catch some fish on that. So, oh, yeah. open sniff and catch, man. Oh, yeah. Got one of our boys here, Jacob Wheeler, catching him on a mondo worm. All the guys are starting to come in right now. This is very exciting. Get the, get the skinny, get the on the water scoop. But the nice thing about this format is you get to see live stream, but there's always little stories. There's little stories that are secrets. There's Bryant, one of our hardest working individuals ever, getting the actual goods out there on the tear with Wes. Uh, these guys, they've been working hard here all this week and getting, uh, getting some actual stories behind, it's not just fishing, but the stories behind the anglers and everything like that. Uh, really cool stuff. So that is actually going to be on uh, our channel, Guggen Squad channel. So do yourself a favor, go subscribe to that channel. Uh, you're not going to want to miss the series that these guys are doing. Uh, I just want to say personally, I'm super proud of, of those guys. It's going to be a good series. Make sure to tune in. Uh, and I'm really excited about what they're going to bring together. It's going to be good. Alrighty, y'all. This has been fun getting to know this event, seeing where I think, uh, where I hope that it's going to go and really propel the sport of bass fishing into the future. I know a lot of you are uh, tournament anglers getting into it, some of our high school, college, um, or just uh, you know fishing in general tournaments. I think this is the direction to be quite honest with you, um, especially with uh, getting brands invo involved and everything like that. Similar to how you see golf, I really, really like this format just from what I've learned today. So basically, I was here eight years ago being a tournament angler. Now I'm here being a fanboy, learning about the sport and just supporting uh, the sport in general. It's always been my dream, my goal uh, to be a part of it and I'm in the mix and it feels amazing. And I wanna thank every single one of you uh, that has already come up to me here, said hello, we've talked, maybe shared some baits and everything like that, but I hope to see a lot more of you. You guys know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe out here. I love all, all you guys. And being here in this warm weather and having the bass move up on the spawn is like, torturing me right now. I'm like, gosh dang, I almost want to just move here for a second and, and catch all these fish and then move back to Texas when the spawn's going on down there. But can't do that to OSG and I got to get back quick. So love you guys. Subscribe right here. I'll see you on the next one.